Hello everyone. Let's solve this uh, problem which appeared in gate 2001. It's from permutation and combination. So how many four digit even numbers have all four digits distinct? Let's understand the statement first. How many four digit? Four digit. Okay. Next, we have uh, read this line. Four digit was the first thing to read. Even numbers. Now, even number will mean that the last digit can either be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Okay. Have all four digits distinct. All four digits distinct means repetition is not allowed. If repetition will not be allowed, then all four digits will obviously be distinct in any number formation. Okay. So, as you can see, the unit uh, digit, okay, if you start from the right hand side, okay, so the unit place or if you have confusion, someone uh, says why unit place, then the first place from the right, that is a better thing to say must have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So, let's make two cases because you have to necessarily make a four digit number. That means you can uh, have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 any choice uh, but there will be some cases where if you allow numbers, let's make cases to make it clear. So the first case is when 0 is at unit place. Again, I'm saying unit place. You should understand that I'm talking about that place. So when zero will be at unit place, so there are four places. I fix zero here. So only one possibility because only zero will be here. I have fixed that. How many numbers are left? I have zero to nine. So I have 10 numbers to choose from. So because I have fixed zero, so the remaining three digit can have numbers from one to nine. And I have no further restrictions because I have already fixed zero. So zero can't come here now because it is already used. Repetition is not allowed. So this place, the place just after zero can have now nine possibilities. Because I have a total of 10 numbers, one I have already used which is 0. So I have 9 possibilities here. Now again 2 numbers are used. I had 10 numbers, 2 of them are used. Now I have 8 possibilities here. Now I have used 3 numbers, I have 7 possibilities here. And at last as you know, we multiply the possibility. These are possibilities, okay. That means I had 10 numbers, 1, 0 I fixed. Now I am left with 9 numbers, out of 9 put any one number here, then you are left with 8 numbers, put that any one here, then you are left with 7 number, put that at last. So total uh, ways, total possibilities in from this case will be 9 into 8 into 7, so 72 into 7, 14 4 in hand 1 and uh, you are getting 504 from this case. Let's see the other case as well. So that is your case number 2 and obviously uh, in case 1 you have uh, 0 at the unit place and why we are making this 2 case you will understand in this because anyway 
zero can't come at this leftmost place because if zero will be here this will not be any more a four digit number it will become a three digit number so we can't put zero there okay so in case zero is not at this place in case zero is not at this place so what are the other options we have we can either have Two, four, six, eight. We have. We can have either of two, four, six, eight. So you have how many possibilities here? You have four possibilities here. Okay. Out of four possibility, you will put any one number here. How many numbers are left now? You are left with nine numbers. But remember, out of that nine number, one is zero also, and you are still in danger because you can't put zero here. So after filling the rightmost place, which you also say unit place, come immediately to this place, the leftmost place, and you will say, "I can't have zero at this place." That means I had nine possibilities earlier. But because zero is not allowed, so I have only eight possibilities here, and now I have consumed two numbers, one here out of two, four, six, eight. Now, as I told you, now I have consumed two numbers, uh, two digits. First, out of one, any one out of two, four, six, eight would have been placed here. We were left with nine numbers, nine uh, digits. So out of that nine, zero was not to be placed here. So we had eight possibilities. Now, currently you have consumed a uh, two num uh, two of the digits. Okay. So now we are left with eight more digits. So now eight can be placed here. No such restrictions are here for the middle two places. And eight can be here, and now you are left with seven numbers, so you can place seven here. So how many uh, possibilities from this case? We are getting sixty-four into twenty-eight. So sixty-four into twenty-eight will give you. This gives you thirty-two in and three, uh, forty-eight and fifty-one, and you are getting one hundred and twenty-eight from here. So two nine seven and one. So you are getting one seven nine two. Now, uh, finally, all possible numbers can be found by adding all the two cases. Result from all the two cases. So this will give you a ninety four ninety two plus four is ninety six and twenty two ninety six, and which is clearly your B option. so you saw how we made two cases just because we had two restrictions in this case first restric restriction was that you need a even number that means 02468 can be there and other restriction which was there was it's a four digit number and because it's a four digit number you can't place zero at the leftmost place so we had to make two cases and finally add those two cases so i hope you understood at least something if not uh, please do comment i will try to improve my teaching so that's it for today we'll see you with more such problems thanks for the day